and welcome to a very, very, very special edition of the Kick and Back podcast. My name is Hayley Miller and with me, my co-host, Emma O'Driscoll. Welcome. Um, oh, thanks, I don't know why girls. the uh, uh, guest is making guest noise is making already. Noise. I'm Actually. not even going to look at the guest because I will say their name. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good to be back. This, um, this view is quite gorgeous. It is, it is. We will set the scene in a minute. I okay. just wanted to oh, note that uh, ahead. I haven't read the script, Mim sorry. Strom's even made it to the pod. Of course she does when we have someone famous on. I'm here. Welcome. I'm here. Thank you very much. You've made it. <laughs> yeah, look, I heard it was at Crown said, oh, look, I can make it. You, can, you, make can, it. you can fit it into your busy schedule at 7am. Nah, she almost turned around when she couldn't work out the valet parking. <laughs> Country girl, Em, you know, well, country girl. Well, I don't know how you no know one how to came do to it. help me either. I so clearly, you were the big deal. Yeah, I know. Clearly, I'm yeah. going to introduce our um, guest really early today because I want him to be able to weigh in on the uh, oh. set for today's podcast. Yeah, so, great deal. our guest today makes me feel like this podcast has somehow <laughs> become a, a real success. I said that Bob was going to be uh, the most popular, but he's definitely been outdone real quick with a triple gold Logie Award-winning yeah. comedian. Television and radio presenter, loves himself, uh, producer and media personality. Welcome to the Kick and Back podcast, Rove McManus. What, a, what an overachiever. <laughs> it's like a real what overachiever. A multi, what a multi <laughs> Fantastic. So, that's my favourite thing is that's I get that off did Wikipedia. You, it's your, that's you your line on Wikipedia. Uh, you didn't mention I was, I was the voice of a crab in Finding Nemo. I'm getting to that later, Mate, um, but I cannot do you know believe what? Hang on, oh, hang I'm on. Jumping let me ahead. just. I know how this show let works. Let me just jump ahead be, real quick because I've been jumping ahead. This Sorry, is, I haven't everybody even always jumps ahead. This at the end of all the questions I had for you was I read it. my favorite info <laughs> I found on the internet about you. You had a cameo as the voice of a crab in well, Finding Nemo, one not, of my all-time dismissive, all-time favorite <laughs> movies. Hayley, we're besties now. You can't be dismissive of the fact that I won <laughs> an Oscar for Pixar. No. Which crab were you and what did you say? Well, that's that's what we call a hook in the business, where I will give you that answer later when it comes up. <laughs> so no skipping forward on your little 30-second oh, no thing, thing, everybody. Oh, I, know I can't how believe you skipped to the best part of the podcast. Oh, let's right be honest, everyone's li listening to this at a hundred Brett, cut this anyway. part. I hate it already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you set the scene. of Where okay, are we? Yeah. It What's is a happening? beautiful morning. Here at uh, Crown to Towers. Towers. Yeah, it's not just Crown. We are in what is described as a cabana. <laughs> I like to say cabana. So do I, but. but the... do, you, do you cabana? Yeah, I cabana, but no, you cabana. Drisco cabanas. <laughs> you Sorry, valet I'm... parked now, you say cabana. Sorry, That's I'm Australian. Cabana. Uh, yeah. We have uh, two <laughs> members of staff that will be bringing us our very own coffees. <laughs> Can't wait. We are in wonderful robes, white robes, by a beautiful infinity swimming pool. Overlooking the glorious Swan River. Oh, okay. And Just words. it's freezing cold. <laughs> it's, but, really, it's really but cold. We're, we're, we are uh, kicking back. We are absolutely. This uh, is the on these, um, definition. What are these big things called? Are these an actual cabana? I don't know. I thought the cabana was the... Like a sun lounge. There we go. Yeah. yeah. A yeah, sun they lounge. Are a sun lounge. Yeah. They're very wide, aren't they? It is. It's like a double bed. Cold. Really? Oh, so sorry. King Would you like a smaller, no, tiny little bed? No, 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 no. They're good. That they're they're not wide, as big as the ones you have at home? No, never, never. I've got a king at home. I've almost broken this bed three times, mine. I just said. Yeah, the springs yeah. are going in there. <laughs> we can't wait for that. Don't think yeah, just go jumped on it and it, there was a loud snapping sound. <laughs> oh, you did You did mention that um, two members of staff were bringing us our coffees. They also walked you in here, but the uh, the rest of us had to yeah. find our own way. No, I yeah, saw. There's like no I one had, here and it's really it quite like hard. thugs. <laughs> like an entourage. Just behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An yeah, escort. Nice. Anyway, we didn't get anything. No, we got... We got valet parking. Oh well, yeah, I know. We also are at the private pool area. Have you valet parked before? No. Nah. No. Nah. And also, how good's rolling in your Ford Fiesta? <laughs> <laughs> Into the valet. And Into the valet. Side. I, your green. Hang on, my The green. A Ford green. Fiesta. <laughs> I lived in the states for a while, and you valet park everywhere there. So if you go to a little cafe, because there's no parking. So if you go to a restaurant or a cafe or anywhere, you just pull up out the front and there's always a valet person. No Sometimes way. Sometimes you can even go to parties and people have a valet person because, you know, everyone lives up in canyons and weird places like that. So you get used to the valet thing, which is A, really great on the positive side because you don't have to worry about parking. So yeah. as soon as you get there, if, especially if you're running late, it's so great to know as soon as you get there, they you're there, go. you jump out, toss someone your keys, and that's it. But on the flip side, B is I got so paranoid about 
what radio station I had on or what music I was listening to. Because as soon as they get in the car, if you're like, and here's a very boring <laughs> podcast about birds, I would think, oh, they're going to judge oh, me. I worry about but the no, state of my car. I'd be worried yeah. about someone stealing my car, kidding, no one steal the green <laughs> fiesta. But, but like, Have you seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off? What if someone, yeah, yeah, yeah that is a good yeah, movie. But um, movie. yeah, yeah, this, yeah, the dirty. Yeah, Did you I clean it out before you arrived, knowing that you were well, going to valet? Didn't have enough time. I only thought about that on the way here. To? On the way here, I thought, oh. well, it's early in the morning. I, feel I like didn't they... get up t- 20 minutes earlier yeah. to clean my car. I, mean, like I, just, I just keep mine very clean. Yeah, my nah. daughter knows not to spill food in the car. Oh, right. I would anyway, love to no. chop her in somewhere. Yeah, I would love too. to chop her in and like then, was it abseiling? I'm doing a gesture with my hands. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know. really know. You want to milk a giant cow? Yeah, or ring a bell? You know where you come down off a cable yeah. and you have to yeah. drop in? I'd yeah. like to do that. I'm not sure where that, that would be. That anyway, organized. I think I've set the scene that here That wasn't organised for us today. For we didn't get a helicopter a in. I'm not level. sure where that, that got lost in the... Uh, That'll happen. Got lost in the... You're in all Australia now. How, can, how are you not chopping everywhere? No, I'm we've, not sure. We've got a master what valet perks come? <laughs> what perks come with being an... I'm going to flip it on you guys now. What <laughs> perks come with being an all Australian? Uh, Go. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, do you get a plaque? Do you get a little? Oh yeah, I got a little. I got a um a glass trophy. It's not any trophy, a glass one. Did you get? How did that go back on the plane through customs and stuff? <laughs> Joe, I had to lug that everywhere. That yeah. went from Melbourne to Adelaide, and it didn't fit in my bag. It's got to be hand I'd, luggage, right? Yes, oh, so carry, I had to carry it around. So how in, big is I, it then? Well, it came in a box as well. So then you had the box and the, oh, the oh, Or is this just a, oh, I couldn't fit it in my bag. Have to put it this, through the security <laughs> yeah, screen. Yeah. In there. Excuse me, ma'am. What's this? Oh, sorry. It's just uh, on that old thing. So it came up so, just, uh, came out, out, what so is random on the thing. All Australian what it was ice cap. I don't know who put that there. Uh, whoops. I've dropped <laughs> it on the ground in the dude. Qantas lounge. Clang. <laughs> Didn't I did fit in my it bag. Times, she, she reckons. <clears throat> anyway, um, we're going to flip this on Drusio. Not nothing to do with I don't Australian know what, or anything like that. But guys, um, our people are coming back with our coffees. Oh my gosh! Oh, the coffees people, are arriving on a tray that is held people? by two people. <laughs> oh, I can't wow. wait! Wow! And this. waters. This is this is fancy, <laughs> fancy. This is fancy. We've never had this on the podcast before. <laughs> no. It's great. Okay, we've taken a break for our coffees as they have arrived, and a little peek behind the curtain, as we say in the business. Drisco's decided that now she'll do her homework. Then she's reading ahead in the questions, and I feel like. Reading ahead in the questions is actually you doing homework about me and who I am and what I do. Ay, 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 ay. I feel like there's going to be a little bit of, oh, oh, you had a TV show. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, okay. It says here. He needs to cut the crap because I actually have done no. a good old Google search on Rove. <laughs> I'm actually disappointed she Should did we go back to how this journey started about how the three uh, of us think... became absolute friends? Oh, and hi, Mim. <laughs> I think should we, we should... talk about... I how this came about? You tell uh, tell the story. Tell your part, your well, side of the your, story, and I'll tell mine. Okay. Well, I'm just you He's know just that. a guy sitting at home listening to two amazing <laughs> AFLW players <laughs> do a wonderfully entertaining podcast. And look, do I want to have a fanboy moment of commenting on one of their social posts? Yes. <laughs> and then what do I get in return? Who the hell is this clown? Blue verified tick. Ugh, what is that? What kind of name is Rove? It makes a me Rove? Sick. I've never even heard of a Rove. I'm going, oh, he's married to Tasma Walton. Hello. <laughs> um, no, look, I uh, have been a, well, look, I am a long Dockers supporter uh, since day one. Uh, I was so pleased when we were one of the first clubs to have a women's team. And it's over the years, it's been very hard to follow the AFL when I've been living on the East Coast or in other countries. Mm. And so listening to the podcast in particular has been a very good way of helping me connect with the club and keep tabs on what's happening. So um, I'm sure you get a lot of valuable information. From but podcast. I have yeah. <laughs> heaps about footy. I <laughs> have so much about footy. But because Haley and I talked about this because we hang out a lot. Yeah, because we're friends. <laughs> so much hang out time. And uh, <laughs> I have thoroughly enjoyed, genuinely enjoyed listening to you guys and the show. And I feel that I appreciate the game and your game in particular, the boys, whatever. But for, <laughs> for, for the girls in particular, I feel connected to the team more because of yeah. you guys. Oh, 
Oh, that's so, so lovely. Nice. Like, I don't know, if nice. I'm watching the, the, the men play, I, I call everyone by their surname. Like, you go, yeah. oh, you know, good on you, Mundy, well done, Fifey. <laughs> yeah. But it was like, when it's with you girls, like I'll be watching go, go, Hayley. <laughs> <laughs> Hayley. <laughs> Hayley, go. Or they'll say, Drisco, yeah, go, Drisco. Like, go, Ebs. You know, I feel, uh, yeah, I no, feel like I'm um, a real shady uncle cheering on <laughs> from the stands. Oh, no, great. No, so, on for those who basis. haven't heard the story from, from this side, well, actually, I'll just tell mine and then Stop. you can tell your I, okay, whatever of course you're going I've heard through last. your brain when you said this. So this is when we found out, so Brett tells us, oh, maybe it was Trent. I can't remember. It was Brett or Trent. Someone said, Rove listens to your podcast and is like <laughs> commented on something. And we were like, oh my, I said, oh my God, that's amazing. Like someone actually famous listens to our podcast. And uh, Drisco also said, F, yes, can't believe it. <laughs> Down the track, and that was it. That's all we left it with. It was cool. Yep. And then we get to training that week. And well, I don't even know how the conversation came I'm about. So but she goes, I don't, I don't know who he is. <laughs> I no, actually we don't know who there. Rove is. I was Google? like, Google. Like, hey, did you just, not even Google, mate? She didn't care enough. Didn't care enough, <laughs> didn't to, care even enough to even Google. Google it. Like, you know, you get like ROV and then the drop down will do the rest of the heavy lifting for you. You know? Rove McManus, Rove McManus feet, yeah. Rove McManus. <laughs> well, there is a lot. I, when There's I was a lot of, I don't know, everyone gets the feet one. Lots of things come up. Okay, you Rogue can Rogue like Net worth. Net That's worth. usually one that of was, them. That's the other I one. I may have clicked on that one. <laughs> no. Anyway. He's already told us he drives a Lexus. And Rove McManus. Can... Who the hell is he? That's the one thanks to you. <laughs> Who the now. hell now is Rove? Is he still R-O-V alive? And having is a look. he still alive? <laughs> <laughs> so then how, how was the news broken to you? No. So, so then what happened from your perspective? So I'm um, actually a millennial baby, born in 2000. A <laughs> lot like younger than these two here. 2000, sure. Yeah, sure. I'm still on air. Yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. Anyways, and um, I think my in my defence, I think right. it's okay that I didn't know who Rove was at the beginning. And my argument is I'm always like to put, you know, name to face. So I'd never, if I'd seen Rove's face, I would have been like, I know this I guy. I know who he is, whatever. He's famous, okay? But I didn't have a face to put a name to at that point in time. How many Roves do you know? It was... <laughs> I, I is there any other roads? No, there, oh, there's a couple of others um, that um, uh, that I uh, that parents have named after yeah. me. So I, well, get, I get. That's I when get you know little, you've made it. Yeah, yeah you know you've been. Yeah, children. no. Well, anyways, my parents were horrified that I had no idea <laughs> who Rove was. Look, to be fair, <laughs> and I, I knew I who do his have wife a lot was. Of people now coming up to me and going, "Can I have a photo?" And I say, "Yes," and they go, "Ah." Oh, my mum's going to be so excited yeah, by this. Literally, I'm like, okay, literally. that's fair. I'm nearly <laughs> that's, 50. That's fair. See, there you go. I think you need to just yeah. cop that. And I think I'm, you know, I'm very. Did you not watch Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? There's that's a lot of people who, say, who know I me from that. Are You okay, Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Clearly I didn't. I hadn't. Do you um, not even still watch the project from time to time? I do. I do. I no, do. Now, because I, I, I know you. I know you. She's trying to make you feel better. I know you now, so of course I'm going to watch it. to a Drisco roast. It's only because you gave her a shout out. Sorry, I don't mean to raise my voice. Um, no, anyway. well, anyways, anyways, Trent ended up just laughing. Trent and Hayley laughed in my face. I was very <laughs> embarrassed at the time. So I went away, Although did my research, defense. found out your name was John, not Rove, <laughs> you bloody impersonator. And then I gave you a shout out on the project on yeah. more than one occasion yeah. because I'm terribly unprofessional. And then I started watching more of your stuff and thought, this guy's actually pretty cool. I might be friends with him. <laughs> So and I, and I thank there. you for allowing me into your friendship circle. <laughs> Organically from there, we just had some banter over uh, oh, the so old funny. social. Yeah, we did. Socials. It's been wonderful. We became best friends. But that, that leads me to my next question. How much uh, work did you put into this podcast, Drisco? Um, well, I think that my face is enough. So Because I, I don't remember you at all getting rove on the podcast for starters okay well um, I can you also didn't help at all with the script you just read no. it for the first time when you got did you here. did you book the did you book the yeah no, yeah I, I booked the i'm trying to think how that. many messages i got from you during the sorry, week sorry sorry okay if how many messages Miller, you got oh, Hayley's just like <laughs> Hayley bing, 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 bing. insisted on sliding sliding into rove's dms <laughs> i thought you know i'm kind of going to play hard to get here stay away just wait till <laughs> you're mysterious person, and you know? aloof bit of Bit of that um, kind well, of vibe. you know, because Miller and I have been out on the town. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. you know, once you've 
you know, friends that. supporting friends. I went to that's Rove's what, what we do. comedy show in Melbourne. I'm sorry yes. that I can't afford a trip to Melbourne because I don't currently have a job. So oh, I'm sorry, you were just telling us about sorry that I'm job not an all Australian. Just... Have you just got one? Yeah, sorry, I just got one. But anyways, sorry, I'm an, I'm not an all Australian and can just <laughs> get a tr- quick trip to Melbourne. All right, some general some general talking points. Just go. I want to touch on this because just before we get into all the stuff I'm about you, Rove. Sure. Yeah. Um, about what's been happening over the last few weeks. Um, did you or did you not organise a whole day for all the girls? She organised this big day, AFLW Grand Final. Then there was a men's game yeah. after it. Um, sounded awesome. And then you got COVID and couldn't even go. Yeah, that's, so. That's very You unique. know, I like to give back to my girls. Um, <laughs> and so I thought I would, um, I take my, you know, player hat off, events coordinator hat on. Sure. Um, self-proclaimed events Self-proclaimed, yeah, yeah. I think that's a, a fair title yeah, though. Fair title. And I thought we'll do um, drinks at mine in the morning, you know, some mimosas for breakfast, watching the AFLW Grand Final around 10 a.m. Yep. Um, also wig party, so bring your wig. I get a oh. bit weird, you know. <laughs> get excited um, for that halftime sprint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. M- Mila so was obviously doing that. She was going to support me. I was. Yeah, but... I still did. I just, yeah, anyways. And then we'd... um. And then I thought, oh, just go straight to the top. I'm going to contact Simon Garlic about a box at the footy. Hello, Garlo. Can you organise me a box for the footy? He goes, done. Oh, wow. easy as that. Kelly Black also had something to do with it. You know, she's a woman that gets stuff done. She does. And then it was the Twilight game, really great round. Um, obviously, my brother was playing, didn't really care about that. Just wanted to kind of get with the girls. <laughs> also, food and drinks in the box. It was going to be elite. Yes. Um, well, I heard it, it was, was still elite. Was you just elite. weren't there. I just had, couldn't go. I um, was as crook as a dog on, on my deathbed. So beds. I just took it as you not wanting to support Nathan. That's what I saw. <laughs> yeah, it. okay. Maybe it was that. But also, yeah, definitely was not in the state to go. So you watched from, oh, you watched from home. Oh, just my lounge room on my own, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> it was, right. It was gorgeous. Mm. I saw couldn't the recreations drink. of reaction videos. It was wonderful. Everyone had a great time. Everyone, it looked yeah, so everyone fun. It was a really good time. It looked so fun. Yeah. Even I was like, oh. <laughs> Wish oh. I don't have COVID. I wish I was there. I was actually dying from FOMO at home, actually. <laughs> not, um, yeah, COVID. not COVID. <laughs> oh, um, it was horrible. What? Because what, what strain of COVID did you get? Ah, uh, Benny's. Yeah. yeah. So just um, went out to Benny's, <laughs> Benny's in Freemantle. And, um, and then you had your oh, birthday. Got that strain. Yeah, I was out of ISO by then. Great. Had Easter with my family, which was nice. And then my birthday. What a, what a month for me. What a social <laughs> calendar you have. <laughs> Thank you for squeezing us in yeah, today, yeah, by the way. Honestly, we really I feel appreciate it. that we've managed to get this done. <laughs> yeah, I know. In your busy schedule. It's absolutely fine. You've got a new job starting. Just Now, where did weeks. you, you went to, there's that place in, it's like sort of East Frio where the big buffet, what did you, was it for your birthday where there was the big buffet? Yeah, yeah. Where was that? I th- I'm so, sure I've been there. Um, Turquoise Cafe. Right. Another shout out. Hopefully they give me maybe a free um, bottle of wine. I went there with um, uh, for my niece's birthday. And it's yeah. like this all you can eat breakfast oh, thing. It's oh, like you these, get these, it. It's these like, like waffles. Yeah. And, and they're like on Lazy Susans and yes. you just spin them around <laughs> and it's got like Avon toast, waffle in the middle, um, like sausages, eggs, bacon. Oh, it's cheap meal heaven. Right. It's that good. And I think we paid like, it was like $39 a head and you got like a Thirty nine dollars a head. Thanks again to our sponsors at Turquoise. Really, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thirty nine dollars a head, and you could get as many drinks as you wanted, and you got as many of these plates per like however many people yeah. were there, and then you could um Drinks they bought out well. Prose- bottles of prosecco oh. so you could make mimosas. It how was good, unreal. How good's yeah. a bottomless carb brunch? load? Bottomless brunch. That is a good time. All you can eat. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens at a bottomless brunch. We should no. go out and do that after this. We should I'll, definitely... I'll order some room service. <laughs> we'll have a okay, take my brunch. helicopter. We'll be there in no yeah. time. No worries. Yeah. Okay. Well, as we uh, mentioned, Sorry. I did go to the actual AFLW yeah, Grand Final. Yeah, yeah, you did. Um, yeah, I know that and you Gold organised COVID. it for everyone to <laughs> watch me uh, do the Grand Final Sprint. Now, I didn't have – I tested – I will say I tested negative to COVID that morning, but I reckon it it, it kicked in yeah. halfway through the Grand Final Sprint if you watched it. Um, we were going well till halfway. <laughs> you can feel it, right? And then you just right? – I just felt it. I'm, like, I'm, you can almost – It's like, oh, then oh, almost, COVID. You can almost pinpoint the point yeah. where it hit it's me. It's like she's so, either done a hammy or COVID. <laughs> I, I reckon so. you were fine in the sprint. Yeah, till you did really well. You, that was a final as well. You got to remember, you yeah, no, have already got not. through your heats. You're probably a little bit lucky. You're not first, you're know? last, though, aren't you? Is that Feels not the that same? Way. Yeah, second. But you got to go to the grand final, so that was good. Although that's also quite painful in a way. It was. Look, yeah, yeah, that it yeah. wasn't that fun. 
But I also did while I was there, went and saw your show you in did, Melbourne. You did, and I absolutely appreciated you doing that. And you gave us some little subtle shout outs in there. I loved it. That's right. You did. I forget I forget how terribly unprofessional I am in my own work environment. <laughs> it was my favorite like thing because I was sitting there by myself. This is just me by myself, and I'm like, <laughs> giggling. Oh my God. I can't I talk to right. anyone about people know this. who I am? Did anyone got... just hear him say, kick him back, represent? No. No. Nobody heard that. No one kept. It was in like while everyone was laughing about another joke and you just slipped it in there. And yeah, I was like. Oh. I mean, it was just hard. There's so much laughter because you can't. Yeah, it was uh, so you so couldn't even to, How many references? I can't hear yeah. it. Or just <laughs> stop the laughter oh, so God. I can just <laughs> give my friend a shout out, anyway. please. Anyway, I could have got COVID then too. Oh. Yeah, actually. Small could've. room. Yeah. I, some This guy, I wanted I wanted seats next to me where no one was. So I didn't sit. When I went in, didn't sit in the seat next to the people there. Yes. Then this guy just came and plonked himself right. And I was like, oh. And you did wife, the old lean. I was my, I sat uh, there leaning away the whole my time. My wife, television and, f- and films, Tasma Walton, was <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I know her unsure as to whether I should be traveling and touring at the moment. But as I kind of pointed out to her, it's a duck. A duck has oh, just, duck's just a, flown into the Two pool. ducks have just come. <laughs> With pinpoint accuracy. <laughs> well done, you two. Just landed on that pool. <laughs> they just, it's like they've done this before. They just scooted on in, didn't now they? Now looking at us like, what are you doing here? So if <laughs> yeah. you hear ducks in the background, it could be either someone's ringtone or these two ducks are just having a great old time. I love ducks. Anyway, the add that pool. to the questions. They're, they're looking Ailey, out and, over the... They're just taking in the view. <laughs> taking in the view. What coffee would you like? <laughs> It'll only take 45 minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, my, my wife was saying... You know, should you be going on tour and around people? And I was saying, look, to be honest, I'm probably the safest person in the room because I'm up on a stage mm. that's yeah. well and truly one and a half meters away from everybody else. And you're spinning it's, on it's them. It's the, the poor buggers I'm making rest, come in to watch me. That yeah, have, it's the rest of the plebs there. in the crowd super, that you're going to worry a about. A super spreader event. Yeah, oh, God. I'm fine. But Except yes, it was lovely saw, to see. Yes, you. It was lovely to see. I you. enjoyed it. I and then really we have, had a lovely chat and a stroll we afterwards. Did. We went for a stroll down the Melbourne streets. Yep. Oh, um, yep. Avoided, Sorry, I avoided all of the COVID. Again. Yeah. Just you were there in spirit. Just for something different, you weren't there. What weekend was this? What week I, was this? I, had, I, I nearly thought Mim was going to turn up. That's yep. how shocked I was. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, Mim's only a casual. At least I'm part time. Wait, the ducks are um, duck diving. When I don't care about the Is that ducks. Where the name comes from? I reckon. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Um, what date was this? I probably had COVID. You did actually. You missed well, out on that. Well, fuck out. Cut me some slack. Do you know what I've also done in the uh, in the off season? Excuse me, I just booked the car to reverse. <laughs> That'll only be. I was also the ducks like, are now leaving in a small <laughs> truck. <laughs> Why is it every time we do a, a podcast duck, anywhere yeah. outside? There's too yeah, many distractions. Like, no yeah. one can keep. It's like we're track. back at the hub. Nah, that was. Mim, disgusting. did you bring an avocado and a giant <laughs> knife? <laughs> We're back in the park. Have you smuggled, have you smuggled any cutlery in your bathroom <laughs> today? How good, Mim, with the butter oh, knife. <laughs> anyway, I um, I actually went and saw the home of the pigeons Mm-mm-mm. for, you just, surely you listened to that podcast. Oh, oh, no, no, yes. You know, um, that was Yarrawonga, of, Yarrawonga yeah, pigeons. Yeah. The Yarrawonga pigeons. And yes. So now you're mates, to... mates with Fev as well now? Is that yeah, I was well, going to say. Apparently all you Favola. need to do is... Uh, Take a photo of him on the wall. That's I reckon that's how that's Ellie it. knows him. I can it's the only not, way she knows him. That day that I saw him take like shout out to Air, like watch yeah. Ellie, I was like, nah. She definitely paid him for that. Yeah, she definitely. <laughs> we paid know how him. this works. She paid him. For that. Oh, she's. Um. Ridiculous. Anyway, I walked around the whole entire thing. Yeah. I don't know if you saw my social media, and there was one sign. One in the whole place that had pigeons on it, so clearly they're not that proud of it. Was either. that the only one? The only, the only one. One three hundred pigeons. pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> call, call one three hundred um, pigeons. Is it actually like, like home of the pigeon? Well, like he's called. You know how we're called like the Fremantle Dockers. No, but they're, you know how every town has like a slogan. No, <laughs> no. Like, it, well, like it's on. not their calling card. I just said I didn't yeah, but see also, a sign anywhere. Where are you in the pecking order? Of football teams to be the pigeons. Mm. Yeah, well, you exactly. must be at the bottom, Yarrawonga. Because, you know, there's a lot of teams that you know, I think every league has a Bulldogs in or there. Like or a, or a Lions or a Sharks comes yeah. up a bit too. Well, I don't know, like, like a predators. Falcon or an Eagle. Is Falcons, a Falcon, a Falcon and Eagle, well, you know. I'll take yeah, a Falcon. Eagle's more powerful as a bird person, but a Falcon is quicker. 
But they're I would just say, both above bird versions of pigeons. They're both well, they're above, both able to eat a yeah, pigeon. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, like, yeah, yeah. just like, <laughs> does a pigeon strike fear into the hearts no. of... No, that's why I don't understand. We're going to poo on your cars. <laughs> yeah. Like, whoa. <laughs> We need. Yeah, it's a, like I'm a shark. Yeah. I'm a lion. I'm a tiger. I'm, I'm going to poo on your car. <laughs> Look out! Here come where the pigeons <laughs> pooing. I shouldn't be singing that song on this. Podcast. No, you shouldn't. It's really not God. Down. We're gonna have to cut that out, Brett. No. Yeah, I'm we surprised will. I don't even. I don't even know what that tune is. It's okay. Brett doesn't have much pigeons. to do. We are the mighty pooing pigeons. I'm just. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to help around no, here. He's if you need me, old. I'm around. Anyway, uh, Brett's help. got lots of work to do to cut some stuff out of this. No, um, he's just going to add more. He's going to he's going to cut himself next, into Hayley? this like he was yeah, part of it. I when you listen some... to this and you hear Brett like go, ha ha ha, that's right, guys, we're having all fun together. He wasn't here. <laughs> he wasn't even here. No, he wasn't he even here. He he he's in the pool with the ducks. <laughs> um, I did some groundbreaking uh, research on Wikipedia about you. Here we go. Um, oh, so die, so die. And I just looked at what I've written here. The best part of all of this is Drisco probably doesn't know any of it, but apparently she does. Apparently she did her research also. So here that shocks me more than anything on this podcast this whole Very season. proud of you, young lady. Well done. Look Didn't help this. with the script, but knew who Rove was. Yeah. So, But your <laughs> That's name. That's all you needed to do. Is your just, name I, I know who he is. My homework is done. <laughs> your name, Rove, is not Rove. It is not Rove. It is not Rove. It's, it's Giovanni. John. Yes. It's John. Yes. Um, well, well, I, I do, don't blame you for changing it because a show called John probably wouldn't yeah. have gone as well. No. <laughs> as I <laughs> had someone tell me very John. early on, they said, is your name Rove? And I said, no, it's John. And he's like, oh, there's enough Johns in the business. Yeah. We don't need another one of you. <laughs> That's what I thought when I read it. Uh, but when I do my cousin Sean's radio program, he still calls me Johnny on air oh. sometimes. People are like, who's that? Because from when we were little. Yeah. So it's a weird thing that um, um, I, I never really liked my name. I'm a, my dad's a John, his dad's a John. Oh. I had uh, uncles, so extended family that were Johns. It's a very That's boring confusing. name. Yeah. True. And yeah, so everyone Who had to be talking? called something else. It'd yeah. be John, Little John, John Jr. Why did they do that? Uh, Jack John. I don't know. There's so many names. Call a kid Pigeon before you <laughs> yeah. drag Come out on, another John, John, surely. <laughs> Same hey, with Emma. Pidge. Hey, Pidge, what you up to? <laughs> You well, don't want to change my name to Pidge now. Name, Can we just... Yeah, yeah. How did it, yeah, how how did it come, come up with about? a stage name? Like, well, no. it was a nickname. It wasn't a stage oh, name. It was thanks, a nickname. Sorry, Wikipedia said so it was a stage all, name. Well, technically it is now. Yeah. But when I was little, so all of my family, I don't know why, but we all have nicknames that have stuck. So uh, my oldest sister, her name is Catherine, but she gets called Gav. It's, it's all a bit weird. Okay. And so we've always, you know, my brother, his name is Luke. He gets called Minnie. Uh, <laughs> so we've all got, we've all got these nicknames. So when we were growing up, we just called each other by our nicknames. We didn't call each other by our actual names yeah. and our extended family or close friends would call us by our nicknames too. So it was only from going to school that anyone called me John, really. Why was your na nickname Rove though? I, I don't really know because I was too young. I've got two older sisters and they gave it to me. So I've just grown up with it as a nickname. Yeah. I have a theory never ask, where it's come Never from. ask questions. <laughs> yeah. I have, a, oh. I have a theory. Well, because I don't remember either because it was yeah. so long ago. But I think it came from my name being John, <laughs> mucking around a lot. It would it, it was uh, jovial. Like he's, he's, he's jovial John. Jovi. Hey, Jovi. Jovi <laughs> Rovi. And that, it got, I do know it was Grover <laughs> for a while. We've got Rover. an old video of us in Bali where I'm doing some dance and my sister says, look, it's Rover with the Grover. Oh. And so I think that it just landed Rove. on Rove. Rove. The, the Rove. wheel stopped spinning and it was like, yeah, yeah. that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> we'll stop there. But when I started doing stand-up, I was only two years out of high school. So I didn't want anyone from school coming to see me when I still wasn't very good. I wasn't Miller-worthy at that point. So I thought I'll perform under my nickname and that way, no one's going to read my name in the paper and come and see yeah, me. Yeah. But then I made a name for myself under my nickname. And so now you yourself. what used to be the, if you're, if you're on the inside, you call me by my nickname <laughs> has now become the name that everybody Everyone, knows course, me as. Yeah. And if you're on the inside, you know what my real name is type of thing. Yeah. It's a bit weird. But my daughter knows that my name is John now. Yeah. Okay. And she now mocks me with it. <laughs> as, as so she will, if she, she, doesn't call if you she feels like giving me shit. She will say, well, 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 John <laughs> Jr. the third. I'll say, time for bed. Oh, really, John, John Jr. the John? third. <laughs> That's great. 
<laughs> anyway, so you said, well, obviously you said we well, you, you stand up comedy. Mm-hmm. How on earth do you do that? Yeah, that makes me because I always feel liked, like that's difficult. It's 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 dumb. When did you realize you're funny? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's one of those things realize? that you know. I just came from uh, a, f- I think, a funny family. We we're yeah. always mucking around. Yeah. You know. You know. I feel just good. You would be like this. Oh, hundred percent. Give it. Well, you just you, you muck up. around. You crack your gags. You're just yeah. all a bit silly. Yeah. And everybody's into it, and yeah. you know, no one frowns on it. <laughs> and then I just enjoyed comedy, and I came from a very um, talented sports family. Mm. And I was not sporty at all. I enjoyed <laughs> sport, but I was not very coordinated. So I guess I just found that uh, performing was was something that it didn't naturally come to me. I was in year three, so I'm eight years old. <laughs> oh my and God. my teacher said to my parents, you should enroll him in some kind of classes outside of school because this kid has a really active imagination and we cannot... We have no outlet for it at this school. <laughs> yeah. So put him in drama classes or something yeah. like that. So they put me in after school drama classes. And I did that for like 10 years just as a, as a fun thing after school. Yeah. And I think that brought the performer out yeah. of me. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then, yeah, I enough. just enjoyed watching comedy films or comedy mm. TV shows. And so, uh, yeah, after a while, I think I went, oh, I'll, with, I, with a group of friends, went, do you want to give this comedy thing a try? Mm-hmm. So we all got up together. Died a horrible death. <laughs> Our very first time all the three of us got up together, but went, oh, that was all right. We should do it again. So and came feel, back. Did it because feel like really having bad? Because game just... and you trip over yeah. or you yeah, go yeah, to, yeah, yeah. No, you shank that big goal that's no just one's a good set the first shot in front. Time. Yeah. I was just going to roll with get it. Get back on the get, bike. Get back on the horse. Try again. And away we went. Yeah. Okay. Well, and now I got rid won, of them and here I am. Now you've won 16 Logie Awards, including three. Gold Logies. If That's you don't it. know what a gold Logie is, uh, Drisco, it's That's the, like most, the, brown the most popular TV. personality on Australian television. And you were nominated for six more. Yes. So you won three. Good you odds. Lost, you lost six. Far out. But not bad. How not many bad. get nominated? Sorry? How many get nominated? Yeah. Uh, it varies year to year, but it can be, I think one year it was like there was 10 people. Oh, okay. But it's usually oh, around it's usually like, around six to eight. Like, but it means okay. you're, well, still you're still in top, the top. You're still in the top ten. So I mean, six times still, still in the top ten. Second's the first three. person to lose, but, you know, whatever. Three times you actually oh, yeah, won. I, I, let, let me make it very clear. The years <laughs> I didn't win, it's because I came second yes. in the voting. Fair. They you don't tell you that, but I felt it in my yeah, heart. You've okay. got to let someone else win sometimes. I feel it was the nice thing to do. You know what? I like Kate Ritchie. Give her one. People won't like you if you win all the time. Yeah, that's So you've got to be like. Good, but not too good. Yeah. That's um, awesome. Tell us about now. There's a, you've done a lot of stuff, so don't go into too much detail here. Sure. I don't want that much. Um, <laughs> but tell us about you, your story. How'd you get into show business? All of that. Well, I started, yeah, I started doing stand up, and I did two years here in Perth. Then I moved to Melbourne because that's what you do. And I, because nothing only... good happens in Perth, let's be honest. Well, it's kind of this, that's where for me, there was, it wasn't like it is now where there's opportunities to do amazing podcasts and, and things like that. And, you know, they're, they're talking about building new film and television studios here, which would be well, incredible. Mm. But there was really not much else that you could do here. So, um, yeah, so I moved to Melbourne and uh, was doing stand-up in a club one night where someone didn't show up and the person who was running the room said, do you want to just get up? Did a spot and it went really well. And afterwards, someone came up to me and said, I'm doing a pilot for a television show, which is like a test show for community television, which is, I don't know what the equivalent of that would be, like YouTube or something back in the day. (laughs) But it's like, yeah, it's community television. So it's like hardly anybody can watch it. It's uh, all volunteers, people just trying to learn how to make TV. Do you want to come in and do a spot on it? So I did a, a comedy spot. Afterwards, they said, we really like the pilot, really like what you did. We don't like the host. Do you want to host it? And I was like, sure. And at this point, I didn't 100% know what I wanted to do. I know that I enjoyed stand-up, but I didn't want to be a touring comic. I didn't feel I was going to be an actor, like a comedy actor. So it was like something in between. And the idea of hosting, like being a comedy mm-hmm. host, would be fun. How how old were you? At this I was point twenty. Time? At this point, I would have been twenty-two. Yeah, and then, that's, um, that's awesome. 
yeah. And then they said, oh, so do this show where you'd be lucky if 10,000, like 10,000 people watch it. Like not even every home in Melbourne can get this. No, no one else in the country can get it. And if you live in the outer suburbs of Melbourne, no one can watch this show. I did that for uh, two years and then got spotted by the number one network in the country. Someone was watching it and went, you, come and do this, but to more people. And away I went. So Far I went from nobody out. to hosting a show on Channel 9 at, uh, I was at that point, 25. 25. And hell. it was called Rope. And it was, was called it Rope was all, because then, you can't, then you. you can't get fired. No. It's because it's you all about yeah. They can't replace yeah. you. Yeah. Can the they? team was called the Fremantle Haley Millers. You, you're set for life. <laughs> yeah, they can't yeah. replace you, can no, they? Exactly. No. Far out. Um, and you, obviously, we gave Bob a lot of shit for calling his show Bob. Um, I had no idea about this. I can't believe he yeah, brought it that up. Five, I was like, what? Because it lasted five minutes. I went and Googled here. That's Googled a shame, that. Job. You may as well have anyway, just had John. Yeah, yours I, uh, Bob. yours I lasted to, a little longer than his. I used to make a an AFL show called Before the Game, <laughs> and we got Bob on Bob. to sing a an old Catholic choir song with a, with a full school choir. Because his mum well, and dad were priests and, and he was he's amazing. He's an amazing singer. He does Is a wonderful he? yes, he does an amazing Bob Get him Murphy. to sing Prepare Ye the Way of the Lord and tell him I told you. Bob oh Murphy. Gosh. Yes. Our Bob. Prepare ye yes. the way of the Lord. Prepare ye. And tell him Rose sent you. The, the ducks Lord. are right. loading up another round of furniture. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my god. I did I didn't mean to say the Lord's name in vain then. Sorry, Bob. Um <laughs> And to your mum and dad who are a priest and nun. Um, <laughs> we definitely need to ask Bob to sing then. Yes. Okay. He doesn't, I feel like I need to sing next to him in the song. When we that. sing the song, I'll stand next to him and hear well, his voice. To, it's more of a falsetto, <laughs> but do it. Absolutely do it. Were there wow. any other names for your show? Or was yeah. it always going to be just called Rose? Oh, I, w- I didn't want I, I, I Did to have, have my say? name in it. Yeah. I think just, I initially wanted to call it Too Late. Because it was on at 11 o'clock at night to yep. start with. Okay. So I wanted to call it Too Late. And when we did our, again, our pilot, our test show, it was just called The Rove Pilot. Yeah. So, and we didn't spend money on um, opening titles or anything like that. So it just had Rove come yep. up on the screen. Yeah. And when we were watching it back, the my producer said, he, you know what? I think that works. Mm. And it was all like lowercase. It was all very understated. And I just quietly went. Well, I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> Gorgeous. There you go. It's all falling into place. <laughs> I can't get rid of me. Um, so your cousin, so I reckon you surely you're the most famous person in yeah, the family. Yeah, you have to There's be. no one yeah. else hiding in the wings, is there? No, no there's no, no one else, there's no one else who daughter? has done anything she at gonna all. Is she going to be? Well, your daughter's playing hockey, so, so a big she's shock? going to or just started or? No, I, 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 I want to get her into playing hockey. I'm not sure why. My, my, What's uh, that all about? I would like her to. Well, I would love her to play AFL. She is a Sydney supporter because she was born in Sydney and God right. love her because my wife barracks for the Eagles. So I'm no our daughter who is just a wonderful little soul <laughs> and just hates conflict was always very torn between who to support. So she would, whenever, she would just support whoever team was playing. Yeah. Okay. And then when she was Bless in her. year one at school, they said it was a wear your sports team colours to school day. And I just saw the blood drain from her face as she was looking at either of us when we like. said, so what colours do you want to wear? And then she very cleverly went, well, I'm a Sydney girl, so maybe I should wear the Sydney colours. Legend. And then she said, plus they're red and white, which makes pink, which is my actual favourite colour. <laughs> Good so, on her. So she doesn't follow any of their games. She's got all the merch. That's and great. And every now and again, we'll just go, how are they going? We'll go, eh, fine. She goes, good. <laughs> okay. She likes Buddy Franklin. She does love Oh, okay. Well, Everyone tell likes. her to Everyone get into it. tennis and golf. That'll make her money. Yeah. Yeah, Pick golf. Right, that's what I need yeah. to do. the right sport. Yeah. Golf. If she's good with the, the stick as well, like hockey, like there's nothing. I can't play anything with a stick, oh, racket or bat. So. Oh, we've been through that. Yeah, we've been through that. So you get her on that. with a stick. Anything racket. with a stick, racket or bat. <laughs> so it narrows it down to. We've been through this. You've got ball sports. Ball sports. Just netball? We do, yeah, netball, yeah, football. football. <laughs> I think it? that's about it. I think it's the word ball in the title. <laughs> <I think> that's, <laughs> <it>. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all. Um, were you a Frio supporter before yeah. Sean played for Frio? 
Or did well, that he was come... he was there from the start. Oh my, yeah, we made sure. I want to yeah, say well, uncle, but his um he's technically my dad's cousin. Jared Neesham mm. was the first coach for Fremantle. Oh. Okay. Half the staff, because um, nepotism is a wonderful thing, all, were all relatives, cousins of mine. A lot of Millers. I don't know <laughs> okay. if they were your Millers. No. But, um, yeah, we even when the Eagles were already in the league, we were East Fremantle yeah. supporters. So it was, a t- it was really tough for me to even support the Eagles, to be honest, because yeah. I just felt like this is all the – North of the river teams mm. have, have made this, this club. So I, if, yeah, in the early VFL days, I supported Hawthorne. Oh, okay. So I actually still supported them, even though the Eagles were in there yeah. and there was state pride, it was just really hard. It was like my body rejecting an organ. Yeah. I just couldn't, <laughs> I, I wanted, I really wanted to. That's so when that the doctors came in, it yours. was just a no brainer. It was Absolutely. rejecting the purple heart. Yeah. Yeah. Purple yeah. heart. The purple heart. And we're it all took about us, the purple you know, heart. 2013 to get to the grand final and. <laughs> You know, we'll see. Well, you know, we'll see what happens this year. Yeah. Um, yeah right. You were the number one ticket holder. Yeah. 2003, oh, four and five. Take that, everybody else. <gasps> there you go. I yeah. was only five years old. When was the... any... <laughs> <laughs> so you were around, no, though. Was, yeah. You were around. Should have known. known. I should have known. No excuse. I should have, you know. If you yeah. were a real Dockers fan, yeah. you would have okay. been following the game. Well, I wasn't. Did you, um, did you get anything for being number one ticket holder? Yeah. Or you just paid a lot of money to You get to go to the games and you they get... you. You host events for free. Yeah. That sounds like well, you're getting so a, much for that. But I mean, And look, to be honest, I only, uh, I handed it back because I had moved to Melbourne and I felt I wasn't able, able to, to do, do enough to help the team over here to get what back. What would you have to do though? Just go obviously be there at all the yeah, home Yeah, it's games. just like just... being a public cheerleader. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I also yeah, was Kevin part Parler. of the, Kevin there Parker. was a supporters group Kevin in, in Melbourne to try now. to get some um, supporters. Yeah. And, and memberships happening yeah. over east, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I helped with that. Would would but host the Doig and Freo. a few other things like mm. that. So yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Well, you've been taking got, got to toss the coin, <laughs> do the first kick of the season, which is the most terrifying thing in the world. I can't first sitting kick there of at the then season. Subiaco yeah, first Oval kick. full what of people, mean? and they're like, "The first kick of the season, please welcome the other McManus." <laughs> and I'm like, "Huh, oh, <laughs> the more famous one." So I thought, I know what I'll do because I'm a terrible kick. I'm probably going to shank this thing, but you know, so did Sean. So that's okay. <laughs> so I was like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a comical, it's like, you know, Miller running the sprint. I'm going to pretend that I've done my hamstring or something. Oh, okay. Oh, got COVID. Oh, got COVID. So I got COVID, COVID midway. I was, I was, I'm sorry. You were well ahead of the so time. Ahead of the game. That's I was why a new, you haven't I was had COVID doctor. yet because you already had it yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Like, mate, I've invented yeah, this. No, wait, that's not what I want. So I thought what I'll do is I'll do a comical. I'm going to kick and then it will be a bad kick and I'll already have gone, oh, oh he's done his hammy. Like, okay. People would love it. But in doing so, maybe because I went to pretend that I'd hurt my leg and so I must have been relaxed, I kicked the best kick <laughs> in my entire life. It, it looked good. It looked like an actual kick. And so you never... And there's still, I think, are photos around on the internet of me, like, grabbing my leg. But in my head, I'm actually going, oh, I've done it. Did anyone? You'd hurt and myself more and often. And then I've retired. There you go. <laughs> That's great. Now, am I allowed to ask this now or do we have to wait, like, right to the end of the podcast? No, about, no, I want to know now. Um, which crab you were and <laughs> the did crab. you stay? All right. Which crab were you? I'm on done. Finding also, Nemo? There's, only, there's really only one crab in Finding well, I know, Nemo, but I and that's can't the one remember. that matters. We need to though find. He's the... he's related as the he's um called the green crab. If you have uh, a, there's things called DVDs, yes. Emma, yes. and okay. you <laughs> cool. I was around when there was VCR. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Watch Pippi Longstocking every Sunday. So on the on Sunday. the um, Ast- I think it's just the Australian DVD release of Finding Nemo. There's a special menu that comes up that certain points in the film, you can click on like a little fish icon that comes up and it gives you some interesting facts about it. <laughs> and it'll be like, you know, the, the little tiki's in the tank in the dentist's office are based off the three faces of some of the animators. Okay. And when you get to my scene where the crab is, you click on it and there's a whole piece on me where the director's talking about me and you see footage of me recording it. It's very exciting. And oh. the director said afterwards. Can we do that now? That can if we look? I, if he had a had discovered me sooner, he probably would have given me more to do, which was very nice to say. But I got, it's, um, the crab that gets taken and pulled out by the seagulls. Yeah. And then they all fight over him. And then he does this sort of karate move and then jumps back into the water. So you just made the, 
Aww. noise. And that was it. No, no, no. <laughs> and then later on when Marlon is looking for Dory, there's two crabs fighting over, over the at a sewer pipe. Oh. Yeah. And then Dory comes in and says, have you seen a fish? And the crab goes, yeah, I saw him. I saw him bluey, but I'm not telling you where he went. And then that's when they lift him up back to yeah. the seagulls. He goes, ah, all right, I'll talk. I'll talk. They went to the fishing grounds. They went to the fishing grounds. Okay, there I mean, we go. As powerful as that, the mm. girls are weeping. You can't see it on the podcast, mm. but there's, it's all right. Well, I know the exact No, oh, please about. sit down. Stop standing Brett, up. This is Brett, embarrassing, we need everybody. To insert, oh, look, the, insert the ducks that are coming animation. back. The, Insert that animation right there. That is that is huge. That but it was the, crab. Huge. the most fun, and I love Pixar. I love animation, and so to get to be part of one of their movies. How many is times amazing. did you have to do that? Yeah. one line. It took a day. A day. To a do day that to one just line. do that. Yeah, but yeah. also like because it's animation, and it was like obviously years before because it takes forever. And this was only their third film, so they had Toy Story. They had uh, Bugs Life. Monsters, oh, Inc. wasn't out yet. So cool. And so they were making this one. So, like, my manager's like, oh, we've got this call for this. You know, do you know what Pixar is? I'm like, yes, I know what Pixar <laughs> is. And love to do it. So I was in Sydney. They were in LA. And it was essentially like a Zoom, a Zoom call. And they were showing the early animation that was all just pencil drawings and stuff yeah. because they hadn't sort of worked out how to do amazing. water yet. And they were running me through the script and it was so much fun. I didn't get to officially work with Ellen because everybody records their voices separately. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, but I you just, can say you've been on, Yeah, you've been in a movie with I've Ellen. I've been in a movie with That's Ellen. That's so well, yeah. good. Did you do any more with Pixar then after that? Um, I might be doing other oh. things later on. Oh! That I'm Woo-hoo! allowed to talk Whoa! about, but I can, tell you guys, I can tell you guys. I can tell you because you're my besties <laughs> <Okay>. now, quietly. <laughs> but cut it out. Oh, we won't re- tell redacted, anyone. Redacted, redacted, redacted. No one watches this anyway, so they won't know. <laughs> that is Except sick. You. And they go, "Oh, I can't believe someone came to you and said, hey, do you want to be a crab?" You're like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do." That's like, awesome. I knew this day would come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, right. you look like a crab. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> sir. Thank you so much. Finally, the break I've been waiting for. This is what I want it to be. But if you go to Disneyland, there is a Finding Nemo ride that my voice is on. <laughs> well, there you go. There's there a little underwater go. ride, and at one point you go past the two crabs, you don't and there's it. me going, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> exactly <laughs> what the crabs sound like. like. <sighs> oh, All that's right. good. Drisco, you're on for some quick fire. That, uh, I just might add, she didn't. Actually, right. So she okay. has one section. Now read with a big you clear didn't give voice. Me anything. Okay, so you remember when I wrote the other day? Oh, guys, any, if anyone's got anything you want to add to the podcast, just flick it through to me. Cricket. Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know what? Know my role, play my role. Rove knows his, he's a crab, sure. I am not a script writer. What happens if I just quit? You were the CNN of this group. What are you going to do I'd find another host that could write <laughs> a script. <laughs> find another host that'll it's do not all my the work. The would be, what are you, what's your script writing skills like? <laughs> no, oh, I've never, I've never done a podcast. Willing? I don't know what a yeah. podcast is and I hate talking. It's <laughs> like, not what I asked you. Can you write a script? You're in. <laughs> are you willing to do absolutely all the work so I can sit here yes. and, and just enjoy fact, myself? If you don't like talking, really work, works for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> all right. Okay. On. Well, I'm on. Don't know what these questions are. <laughs> All right. Rove, are you ready? Yes. I mean, John. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> um, your favourite kicking back episode besides this one? You can't say yourself. Oh, uh, Bob was hilarious. But I will say, uh, Anne McMahon, I thought, was, yeah, that was amazing, you know, right? uh, it was a really beautiful episode. And to hear her story was, I, I, I had no awareness of that whatsoever. Yeah. And I think to me sums up, what you guys ha- have done with this show so wonderfully well. well Getting to know nice. someone that that personally yeah. was uh, was very powerful. Very have powerful. you listened to every season? Uh, yeah, did you just I, I must have. Yeah, I'm sure I, I have. I can't even deal with that. What I would like, Three if I could have worth. a request, Three years worth. I would like to have some of the players that were on before it was very, the two of you back on again, yeah, if that's okay. possible. All right. That would be awkward. Could you do that, please? Sure. Great, thanks. <laughs> You've been I don't know if you stars. know anybody who could organise that. Huh? Haven't you been on from the start? Me? Yeah. yeah. But not the two of you together, though. Not me and you. He so wants the players that I had with the previous host to come back on. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Well, okay. Well, she was Obviously, underwhelmed with that idea. Just goes on board for that. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Was I putting forward an idea of work? <laughs> oh, that sounds no. that sounds exhausting. Terrible, terrible. How, oh, how many episodes was that? I mean, I used to like double ZDM. figures. Oh, I got two I don't jobs do that now. Yet. I've got One of which I only have jobs. to walk to, but still. <laughs> Nine hundred meters. God, can't walk to the studio. <laughs> Okay, most Im- oh this one I'm I'm excited to hear. Most embarrassing stage moment. Oh, I split my pants on stage but didn't know. <laughs> like where? At the back. Like the back. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but I split my pants, but I didn't notice and <gasps> I didn't notice until I was walking home and I went to Stop. scratch my bum in public because I'm classy <laughs> and went, "Oh my god, there's like not just a a hole but like the split like the whole <laughs> seam up the back." What, what colour were your oh, jocks? You there probably would have been some sort of cartoon character or something. <laughs> no. A man's novelty better. socks and underpants. What were you doing on stage? The well, splits. Well, this is it. I, I'm a very physical Bend performer, <laughs> as you would know if you'd ever come to see my show. But <laughs> I, at, but the worst part was I was like, there was like four points where I turned my back to the audience. Oh, no. I'm very acutely aware that I'm wearing dark pants and very loud designed Patent underpants, mm. and nobody said anything. No. <laughs> That's nobody fine. You're there to do comedy. It's hilarious. Thought, they probably thought, thought oh, it was this part is of the show. Oh, did he do the old yeah, split my pants bit? Uh, he's meant to. This is all yeah. part of it. Yeah. That's fine. That's so really... not embarrassing at the time, but just one of those after the fact things yeah. of. Oh no! No! no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's. That's. Well, I feel like terrible. as a comedian, you can get away with anything like that. Yeah, I, just part he's of the lucky show. He was doing that. Yes, the amount of times you will, you know, do a bit of crowd work talking to the audience improvised and someone will say something <laughs> that you are not prepared for oh. that you were thinking you were on a roll and then someone will just yank the rug out from under yeah. you but yeah you, you have to learn to think on your feet well lucky that's you and not us <laughs> i think you'd be <laughs> well, fine she doesn't have to think on her feet because someone else writes the script <laughs> do you oh, even she... think when you're lying down <laughs> what <laughs> i can't even do this this is why we don't even, have a script oh, can we have someone turn <laughs> The script, please. <laughs> I'm getting that I didn't write. She's a page turner. Oh, who wrote this? Yeah. Sorry, hands free. Okay. Best stage moment. Weird. Oh, oh, you just put examples there. Sorry. Are you? Okay, so Sorry. You, would you my like me best to ask stage you? moment. Something no, no. like, you know, weird, heartfelt, funny, whatever. Sorry, Miller. She just oh, put I think the, f- like the first time I got to perform in front of a, of a huge crowd was pretty cool. So going from like your playing in front of um, like just a handful of Friends. comedy punters yeah. or something uh, on, a, on a, a, a show that's, you know, people aren't just coming to see you. But the first big show I ever got to do was at the Regal Theatre here in Perth uh, for an end of year comedy gala that the local comedy room had set up. And it was the first time, and I was first out mm. and I was so nervous but the first set of last, because it holds a thousand people. So I've gone from at best a hundred people in a small smoky comedy room to now in a big, beautiful, loud theater. And that first wave of laughter crashes down on you. And then it, it just goes right into your system. And you're like, I will never do anything else again after this. Oh, that's like, this is lovely. just now forever trying to just get that feeling every time. Feel good it's moment. pretty good. It's I good love fun. That. It's like when you get, you know, with the crowds cheering. I was going to say that was you, like you know? yeah, when yeah, we, yeah. well, it's Drisco, exhilarating. I don't think you were there. Um, but when we played. I'm never here for any of these when, good moments. When we played in front of, for the first time at Optus and played in front of 40,000 people compared to the maybe one or 2,000 that we'd get normally. Yeah, that's awesome. Ooh, that, and it was like, felt like you're actually playing in a men's game and you like forget that you were actually on the ground. And we won and haven't it was against you, Collingwood, so it was so good. Haven't you had like, Someone even just specifically call you, um, shout out to you by name at a game, like over in Melbourne, where someone's like, go Hayley Miller. When I was doing, okay, so when, at the grand final, the, the AFLW grand final just recently, mm-hmm. wasn't even playing, just was doing like an activation at three quarter time for Chemist Warehouse, just had to throw some footies into the crowd. <laughs> a good Chemist Warehouse. Another shout <laughs> anyway, out. Thank you, Chemist shout Warehouse. Out, shout out to Chemist Warehouse. <laughs> Love your protein, bar. <laughs> um, and I was running back. And we had to go back in and then someone yelled from the crowd and they were like, 
like, we love you, Hayley Miller. Oh. And then I had to, something happened. We had to go back and it was a bit of a shambles, to be honest. Sorry, Kevin's Warehouse, we stuffed it up. <laughs> anyway, we had to run back out. And then the second time we came back, this girl comes running down and was like, can I get a photo? Can I get a photo? She's wearing her Adelaide stuff. That's I was like, great. Sure. That's great. Yeah. Um, no one in Perth recognises me, but people in Adelaide no, do No, I apparently. think you would. If you, like, this Friday night, you can buy me a beer if you don't get identified by someone. So I have to buy you a beer I'll if buy you I work. don't get Is identified by someone. Is that the other way around? <laughs> other way around? Sorry, my brain doesn't work Yeah, you will buy me a beer if I don't get recognised by someone. No, because you're saying I don't get recognised in Perth. Yeah, I'll buy you a beer. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, kidding. That's the one. Okay. Next question. I have to buy her a beer. Or you can buy me a beer because you probably won't drink them. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Favourite men's Fremantle player? Choose wisely. You can't say your cousin. Can I say your brother? No. All that. Okay, if you wanted to, but I won't tell him. Oh, well, I'd say. Oh, hello. Just, it's just another load of furniture coming in. It's just, we're, all, we're moving in. It's all, all of us is, uh, are moving in. Sorry. I just have a really nice dining room um, table I want. It's going to look really nice down here by the pool. Um, uh, Who's actually your favourite? Of of you? No, no, the boys. The of boys. the boys. Well, um, at the moment, I'm enjoying watching Lockie Schultz. Yeah, yeah he's, he's pretty good. So it's just good. wonderful. To see someone on the team just go, I'll kick a goal. Because so that's good. been a, something that has been kind of lacking over the years. Yeah. But just, I don't know what's happened in the last couple of weeks in particular, but just the confidence. If he gets the ball, he can be, you know, shooting on a weird angle or something like that. And he'll just it's probably ping it go in. and it's in. And yeah. it's, it's wonderful as a Fremantle player yeah. when someone gets the ball that you're like, yes. Yeah. Because sometimes it can be someone's got the ball. You're like, come on, just please, just please, 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 please. No, nah, I think um, Schultz is awesome though. Like I love that he's like involved in all like the scoring involvements. Like yeah. his little taps that he does to his teammates. And he's nuggety. Because so he gives me hope for <laughs> the little fellas. <laughs> he's got legs like a tree trunk and a tiny little man's body. It's amazing to see. Huge quads for a little man. Oh, bless He's like the Popeye of legs. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but it's weird. Popeye of legs. Um, and I'm very excited for your brother. I think it's, he's, you know. He's doing well. Look at him. He's doing all right. I know. He's doing all right. I'll be there to knock him down a few pegs, yeah, make so. sure his head doesn't get too yeah. big. Good. But no, nah, he's he's. Killing. You know who he is, right? Who? No, never. I'm sorry. Oh, Driscoll? Emma? That's no. the only one. Don't know him. No, nah, he's pretty good. These are real quick fire. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Favorite women's Fremantle player? He's not looking at me, so I know it's not me. He's Dog. looking into the sky. <laughs> like it's uh, going to drop from the sky. Ange. Good answer. We Good love call. Ange. We Sorry, love. Hayley, you're my favourite podcast girl. but Also, because I don't want to make your roommates argue with each other either. No. Oh, How yeah, wonderful yeah. is it you to can't. watch the game and hear Victorian commentators think the Antonio's oh. sisters? It's just, yeah. It's great. It's that just. In all fair, you if they called me Nathan's research. wife. I mean... <laughs> But like, I mean, how hard is it to Google someone? Am I right? Yeah. I know. Just, just write their first name, just, drop down. Just, and the rest of it just drops down. <laughs> okay. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Flight. Okay. Ooh, that was really fast. That one. Where you I got have the, dreams you where got I can fly. You the part of that right at yeah. the end there. I have dreams where I can fly, but I have to like do breaststroke swimming. <laughs> so I jump Through up in the air and then I'm like still, <laughs> and then I have to do like breaststroke. That's not fun then. It counts. Work. It counts. It's flying. Okay. That don't counts. see you flying in your dreams, mate. <laughs> no, I don't Because that fly. would be weird. Imagine yeah, that. Yeah. Imagine you having a dream where you're flying and then you turn and there I am going, hello. <laughs> hello, breaststroke. Doing well. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> yeah, breaststroke. <laughs> okay. Mila, you're on. Oh, Mim. No, Sorry. Uh, Mim. Mim's, oh, mailbag. Mailbag. Mim's actually here. It's Mim's so mailbag. Can, mailbag. Mim Guys. can do it. Mim can do her mailbag. Where you work? Hi, Rove. As you know, I only speak twice in this podcast: yep. once at the start and once when can I get my mailbag. Can you speak up? I can't really hear you from over there. Uh, not not really. all of us had he- have headphones no. on. No. Yeah, I can hear myself perfectly. Uh, yeah, I do have some fan questions. Um, Bound to Ramble asks, "What is it like being more famous than Bob Murphy?" <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know that I am. I think. Oh, he said I was. Didn't he say I was? He did say Probably, that. Yeah. Look, it's it's a great feeling and um, <laughs> it doesn't mean I can sing as well as him though. Let me try. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. No, I can. <laughs> no, I'm there too. Number one. 
What I asked, if you were to cook Miller and Drisco, your speciality dish, what would it be? Ooh, it would be, I do a very nice, um, oh, sorry, the, there's a the big earth mover coming. The ducks, the ducks are gone. <laughs> the ducks have buggered off. And <laughs> they didn't like that question. And a bulldozer coming through. <laughs> We've just got it all. I didn't realise they were renovating the Crown Towers <laughs> going, today. They're going through ballet. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, <laughs> hang on. That's my tractor. <laughs> this is me. Um, I cook it. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like it doesn't have a name, but it's chicken. That, it's like, like doing a healthy KFC, but it's chicken. But instead of like um, deep frying, you, you grind. This I'm, gives I me nothing. Me, you cr I'm crushing. <laughs> I'm crushing up almonds. Okay. And oh. then you coat it in almonds and then you pan fry it a little bit. Then you put it in the oven and then I do a sweet potato mash and usually some um, oh. oven roasted broccolini. Oh, yeah, right. gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I can put a bit of spice in there if you don't mind a bit of cayenne. No, I love spice. Great. That sounds cool. fantastic. Okay, you're going to have to make two separate because I don't like spice. So. Don't like oh. spice? That's fine. As long as it's not salmon, I'm, I'm And can we it. do almonds? Are we allowed to do almonds? Well, love I'm almonds. not a huge... Nut fan. But oh, like, but you 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 don't have I, allergies. No, I don't have allergies. So my, fussy. Just eat it. My wife was away. Uh, so fussy. Miller. Brief, brief sidebar story, guys. I had my my wife was away. My mum was helping me with my daughter, getting her ready for school, and I sent my daughter to school and I put almonds in her lunchbox. Mm. And you don't do that no. nowadays at school. Oh, you're not allowed because the nut no nut allergy. allergies. It makes absolute sense. Although technically it's a legume, but that's not an argument for now. <laughs> <laughs> there was a letter back from the teacher in the lunchbox saying, you put almonds in here. We do not have almonds at the school. And the next day I had to sheepishly. <laughs> so my mum and I dropping my daughter back at school the next day. And I was like, the almonds thing, it's going to come up. And I looked at my mum and I said, I'm so sorry, but I'm about to throw you under the bus. And so I said to the teacher, I'm so sorry about the almonds. My mum, who you have seen, is dropping my daughter off with me, packed the lunchbox. Different generation. Doesn't understand about the nut thing. I'm so sorry. Old people. Am I right? Just going knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. Ugh, who's that guy? DVD. I, I, was, I wasn't even born then. Yeah. So I, yes, I dobbed my mum in as the um, offender for putting almonds in my daughter's lunchbox. That's terrible. Mm. You're a dog. <laughs> you can't do He's that. No, a she dog. Is a, no, but also, excuse me. Rover she is dog. a wonderful mother for saying, yes, my glorious and d darling favourite child. I will take that bullet for you. She's a good woman. So sorry. You it's not about me being so horrible. so sorry about my friend. It's about how good she is. It's how, how good my mum is. Yeah, but you dogged your mum. Yeah, like, I did though. I wow, did. that's sweet. To her face though. I, I did yeah, it I guess she's in a <laughs> didn't do it behind her back. No back that would be really like. Okay, I'm all, I'm all for that forward talk. Back to the mailbag. <laughs> Sorry, Mim. Mel asks, will you do a backflip with Drisco when we win the grand oh final? Oh my! <laughs> have you you have your... to teach me how to. Or you can just have your act already sorted for like sore shoulder leg. Oh yeah, I'll go. I'll do a comical one. I'll yeah, do a comical yeah. One. I think that'd yes. be that'd be way cooler. Yes. Or I could backflip over you. On the floor. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, I we'll do a two-person cool. pyramid. A stunt. Have you ever watched when they play it back in slow motion, just how much of your body just <laughs> vibrates? It looks really... <laughs> like it, your whole body becomes a, a single shock absorber and it looks terrifying. Wow. No, I've never... Because when you do it after the game and then they always love playing it back as they go to the break. Yeah. And then you watch as you really land, everything just goes boom, 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 boom. As your whole body just takes in the... the Gorgeous. The shock of the it. the adrenaline, you know. It's great. When have you, if you like if you slowed it down how, yeah, to watch it in Rose slow motion? real <laughs> fan. No, they, the, the telecast fan. does it for me. Oh, so yeah, as I say, yeah, he wouldn't yeah. be... He's not as advanced I wor I worry yet. about your ankles and your knees. <laughs> this is the problem. And he's not as advanced uh, as Yes, if you taught me how to do it, okay, done. I will then break my neck happily. Okay. Down. Can't wait. <laughs> Back to you, Mim. Nick asks, do you have a purple lightsaber? Do I have a purple lightsaber? Mm. <laughs> That's a personal question. <laughs> um, um, no. No, I do have a uh, proper replica Kylo Ren one, which it looks like a, a sword with the two bits that come out the side. Um that is very heavy and has its own presentation stand and is in my study and it's not to be touched. 
Probably as my daughter than, knows when she comes over with friends Fiesta. and they stick yeah. their heads into my wall. <laughs> it costs more than my the car. Ford Fiesta. <laughs> <laughs> Can we trade? <laughs> but yeah, as, as my daughter knows when her friends come over and then they look into my study and see all of the toys that I have in there. And she will always say, oh, no, Dada's toys are just for looking at, not for touching. Yeah, not okay. For fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Brett, our actual producer, this one says, I'm looking for an MC for my wedding on December 2nd yeah, this year. You got are you married. available? You're getting married. Yeah. Looking for an MC. Yep. I do very good mates rates. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm not Brett. number one ticket holder look at anymore, these, so it's piggy, not a freebie. Look at these guys piggybacking off know, our friendship right now. Honestly, didn't, didn't he's get a in. message from Brett all week. Seriously. What I know. I said, oh, Brett, do you have um, Rose contact? No. Can you just no, message him? Oh, I think I've got friends. his, but I, yeah. I could have messaged him, I'm but just, I just, I'm just thought, ghosting. take a step just back. <laughs> Why not relax? I'm kicking <laughs> back. <laughs> Why not? Just doing what the podcast is, <laughs> Why not is, just mate? continue what I've been doing? It's not called get up early and do hard work. Oh, sorry, but this it's podcast. So it's not called <laughs> research. This podcast Hayley might not have gone ahead if I was early with coffees because that's what happened last time. So I don't yes, go and, and how did that end up? Correct. Yeah. We didn't do one. So. Yeah. Didn't do one for six I weeks. I stick to my routine. And that's what I'm going to do. All right. very superstitious. If you get coffee, everyone goes down. <laughs> what do you ask? Back mailbag. <laughs> ask, if you got a Frio AFLW j- jersey, which number would you get on the back? Three, Drisco, or 19, Miller? I would get. 21, which Aww. is a nice mix of both. Oh, <laughs> that's my mean, number. I thought you were number. Well, I know, but it is also. <laughs> Bro's like, yeah, I know that. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Planned. Oh, no. Like, you can't say, you know what you could do? Ollie Webb, Lisa Webb's son. I didn't even realise that us equals yeah, you. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Look at this podcast. <laughs> that's We're so connected. Guys. <laughs> oh. Wow. Let's, also, let's change the name then. 21. We'll just have the name as something like that because we're just going to copy. Then they can't kick me off the show. Like, is that right, Rove? Boom. She's learning. <laughs> learning. Watch just this one learn. over here. Gorgeous. <laughs> so she sits in the background. <laughs> Those That's quiet ones. so funny. Right. So we're getting you a 21 jersey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of jerseys, Turn Bulletin asks, which has been the best Dockers jumper in history? The best Dockers jumper? Mm, oh, well, when we lost the green was very wise. There was just so many colours to begin yeah, with. Yeah, green, red, It was just purple. like, does someone want to eat a whole lot of paint and then vomit onto a, <laughs> onto a, a woolen jumper? Actually, um, they're bringing that back next year. Oh, no, they did. They did for the, no, wasn't I it last? I didn't mind it, last though. Year they did for the I didn't mind round. it for a retro round. For a retro round, round it's once fine. Every and now there's, and again. There, look, it there is, is a little bit of nostalgia to it now. It is a bit rank. But when you're first starting out and you know, here we are and you've got, green and purple and all these weird colors and a theme song that sounds like a funeral march and you're like welcome to the afl it was a bit like oh <laughs> no, it would be right everyone's yeah. like what's a docker you're like can we just, just yeah well, they used to, that's so true too many the anchor questions. the anchor around the oval yes um, like i, I don't feel think like, that was bad but I now got rid of that. now i you know where it the the sh- i think the chevrons are cool i like i like yeah, the, the, the look cool. we have now i like the um, I'll just like the indigenous jumper. The indigenous I would like jumpers that a bit more yeah. uh, regularly. Mm. They're so uh, good. And I like that it, it kind of changes up, but I have also enjoyed that we had the same one for the last two years. Yeah. And yeah. and the pride jumper pride, was fantastic. Yeah, oh, the pride's my favourite. That was good. Yeah. It was very, we the were rainbow really slick in looked the Looked very good. That was, that was probably one of my favourites too. Yeah, you did. Shit. It was gorgeous. Uh, and finally, Maddie asks, what do you love most about the Dockers? What do I love most about the Dockers? Well, I, I, I do love our passion and our loyalty. I think when the time comes and I, I would have, as I'm not really a betting man, but I would have, I, I had a thought that maybe it would be the girls that would do it first, which I was very excited about the idea of a, a premiership being brought in first by our, our female side. But look, it's looking good for the for the guys this year, obviously, and that would be nice. And yeah. there are teams that have entered the AFL after us who have claimed premierships, and it would just be nice to have one. Yeah. But yeah. I think when, even when we do win, we take it graciously. Maybe not if you're in, in another team, you wouldn't think that. 
but I've been at games where um, supporters will will leave before. Yeah, if they if they know their team is going to lose, they don't want to be there. They will hang shit on you for days and days when they win. And maybe it's just because of the working class roots of the club, or maybe it's because it has been a long time coming. But there's there's real there's always still this loyalty to the club and to the purple and to the history of of the the team and i think that that kind of passion and loyalty is what i love most about Fremantle. Mm-hmm. um Bye-bye. and our our women's team are just full of awesome people so you can say that again yeah <laughs> our women's team is full of awesome people to the choir yeah, go, right. Go the 21s. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> team, 21. Tw- team 21. Team 21. Team 21. <laughs> <laughs> 21. 21. Jump Street. Now. Okay, I'm ready to go. I know what that is. <laughs> there you go. The, the rope's off. I've been going for ages, honestly. Oh, mate, my the sun's toes, just coming up now. My yeah, toes are honestly The ducks frozen. have left. They my got feet, bored. My hands. I've gone. These slippers not, are not no, doing it for me. Rookie my error. My feet are freezing right now. My hands are more cold. we got little slippers. We put them in your pocket. And the girls have, have put their slippers on, but yeah. in doing so have left well, your ankles horrendously <laughs> exposed to the <laughs> so elements. So cold. Anyway, Dristio, do you reckon they'll invite us back for season four of the kick and back? Well, oh, no. Also, hang on. Before Rove goes, I think you better come up with a better name for us. All right. I'm, not, I'm were, not going anywhere. If we were to. Uh, before, yeah. He's like, <laughs> yeah. I've got before a plane to catch at actually going. 10 past 10. But before we go, um, please... Give us like, what do you think about kicking back? Because personally, I don't think I actually really hates it and really wants to get rid of it. I want to rebrand because I but don't kick what back. Oh, it, I, what happened brought this you, up before. If you oh, that we'd have Rose. to, oh, we have to change the artwork. You know, isn't it the name? You just don't like the name. It's the name. It's not the artwork. I love all the photos that we took, all the artwork. I just don't personally YouTube don't think. back to back looking over it's your a, shoulders or the one that, yeah. no, you, do know. you know. the one the one that we've actually got as the artwork? It's the best. I don't even laughing. like. I don't even like that photo, but we had to have it because Drisco likes Drisco's it. Drisco's having a great time. I did a publicity shoot where they used, uh, I was for a show I was doing, where they, they used the photo and I'm looking at it going, I don't even remember that shot being taken. But oh. I was laughing very hard and then someone else <laughs> who will remain photo. nameless was in the photo and said, that's the one, remember when I farted and we all laughed, that's the photo they've used. So <laughs> well, me cracking always... up is because someone else yeah. in the photo with me farted. Yeah. And then they went, oh, look, there's a very, <laughs> that's a good, there's a very genuine looking genuine laugh. Movie. Oh, maybe face. we just have to do that, yeah, Miller. But a genuine looking laugh is never a pretty face, is it? Who's going to take that's one That's true. It him? was, yeah. It was a See? very open mouth. <laughs> yeah. Open, how good. Gaping <laughs> mouth. So anyway, that's what I think of when I see your photos. Like, ah, oh, if just goes laughing like that, Miller must have <laughs> She's dropped hilarious. a clanger. She's hilarious. Dropped a gut. clanger. <laughs> dropped a big one. Um, <laughs> Oh, well, shit. what don't you like about kicking back? What's I just don't think we really kicked back. Do you know how much? What are you doing right you do now? Kick back. This are is you the not first time I'm kicking kicked back? back? Because of, well, this is, but it feels it feels loose and conversational and kicking back. All the things that I like about it, kicking back with Haley and Drisco. I just don't well, love when it. you say it like that. <laughs> It could be the amazing fun showtime that's going to change your bloody life with Alien Drisco. If you say it like that, people go, oh, that doesn't sound fun. I just said, You could call it the funeral march hour. Oh, that sounds exciting. Okay. I'm going to. Hang on. Let's be honest. Storm. We're not going to change the uh, no. name because you're not going to put enough time into actually I thinking will. of a new one. If I you will. put enough time into okay. thinking of a new one, have you one, come up with a I list of done. options, or are you just the person who says, "Just not that"? Yeah, she says, well, "I would, would like change to... the name, but I have no other ideas." Yes, what would you like to be called? I don't know. I'm going to write uh, on, in my notes in the next two weeks before I start my job. Names, and I'm going to bring them to you. And Brett will t- tell me that half of them are inappropriate. Yeah. So then, <laughs> more than likely, that's dumb. <laughs> we have no new names. I'll right. have a thing. I'm done with this conversation. Okay, keep <clears throat> going. That is all we have time for on our special oh. edition pod. Rove, did you enjoy your time with I us? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you so Kicking much. Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you yeah. very much oh. for having me. So great. And um, I look forward to being part of it full time next year. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, you can um, replace this you, one. you can Photoshop me into the artwork. No. I'll do a, I'll do a fart and get a great <laughs> <Yeah>. laughing shot. <laughs> 
It'd be me and Drisco looking either side of you. Yeah, yeah you've done the fart. Seems like, done. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like something I'd do. We'll call it pull my finger. <laughs> yeah, right I'll, just the 21s. I'll just do that. Um, <laughs> oh, but uh, from the fandom side, I just want to say thank you very much for doing this podcast as irregularly as you do. <laughs> As, as it drops in my feed every so often, whenever you feel <laughs> whenever. like it disappears for a month and then there's two on the trot. <laughs> it's been, uh, yeah, I, I honestly and genuinely enjoy listening to you and it's uh, been a real thrill to be part of it today. So thank you very well, much. Well, we've got to keep you guessing. Um, yeah, do you you have, guys will pick up the tab for this, right? Do you, do you have an inspiring, we won't, Brett will. Um, yeah. Do you have an inspiring quote to, uh, to finish with? Because surprise, surprise, just oh, guys, hasn't prepared. Just say hi to your mum for me. Oh, oh, that's there great. We there we go. Do you know where that's from? She doesn't. I know something more than her. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> On no, all no, of no. his shows, he'd finish with that. Oh. That's how I finish everything. I knew it. She didn't. What? Do your research. Watch his shows. See you later, Perth. <laughs>